Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. This is a really exciting video, uh, video for us. Uh, you might have seen ProFry that sponsored a few of our videos a little while ago. Now, I've been threatening for a while to come down to the HQ, understand a little bit more about them as a business, because a lot of you guys were very interested in that, uh, especially to do with the mobile catering units, the full coach building, the fish and chips. Um, British led manufacturing, like this is great and we should be supporting it. So we're here, let's have a little talk, have a little look around and find out what makes an incredible mobile catering unit. Paul, oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, mate. So we're in your unit here now, yep. where you make all of your amazing stuff. Um, do you want to have a look and show us around one? Yeah, this is one of our brand new vans in build. Yep. Uh, this is a 4.5 metres, one of the <coughs> longest vans that we built on a three and a half tonne. Yeah. And this is our flagship range. So it's a four pan range. It's really, really high output. Uh, these are really, really the thing to have if you want to go and do either a street round or if you want to go and do a festival. What can you um, what can you actually cook on this? Is it just fish and chips or? No, I mean, in the main we build fish and chip customers, but I've got all sorts of people who've used them for, uh, you know, like wings or, or even uh, I've seen people cook donuts in the pans. So these would be good for cooking wings, would they? They would, definitely. <laughs> I absolutely love cooking wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, so with our traditional fry, the flat bottom in, in there, but we can actually get a basket that will go in the pan. Really? Yeah. So what makes, what makes a great catering man, a mobile catering man, Paul? It's the knowledge behind it. Um, obviously we've been building them a long time and over the years that we've learned more what not to do rather than what to do. It's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's about the equipment and it's about how you put things together so they last. So, you know, we've ironed out all the problems now. You can't really change the shape of a wheel. This is what we class as the best layout. So we, obviously, we, you sponsored a few of our videos early on in, you know, I think maybe like four, five, six months ago now. We, we went to some incredible um, units that make some great food. Yeah. Um, is there a lot of that down to the knowledge you passed over to them, or is it? Yeah, so, so again, like the SP side of things is not just about how you build a van, it's about how we treat our customers and give them the support and knowledge that they make money from day one. So all of those customers that you went to of ours were all in the Fry Magazine Awards. and all they, were, they were the real deal, weren't they? They were the real deal. And that was only like a few of them. So the Fry Magazine Awards last year, 10 out of the 10 vans in them awards that won were built by Pro Fry. Oh, they really? Yeah. Hmm. So can anyone get into get into this or do you have to have a prior experience like in? 90% uh, of our customers, if I told you, were probably builders, electricians, bankers <laughs> from London, you name it, not not chefs. Probably the chefs are the difficult people to deal with for us to teach because they want to do it their way. Yeah. Um, normally we're better off teaching somebody who doesn't know what they do, you know, and we can literally make them into a, a qualified fryer in literally a matter of a few weeks. So Paul, let's have a little walk around for you. You've got a lot of equipment here. Do you do all the fit outs inside the units? Yeah. From yeah, start well, to finish. All of our guys, including myself, we're, we're all trained up to the highest of standards, literally through the whole of the actual fit out on the inside of the vehicle. We do do coach works on bodies as well, but in the main, we specialise in the interior. I said in my intro, Paul, that it's great to come and have a look at how you do it and, and why you do it because UK manufacturing, so often we see people going overseas for things. It's great to see an actual UK based premises doing this type of thing with machines in here, folding your metal, doing your pipe work, yep. installing your ranges. I mean, how, how long have you been doing it like this for? 30 odd years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We're all very knowledgeable. We've got a good, real small, close team. We all know what we're doing inside out. No matter if one bloke's off, another guy can do his job, and you know that's that's why we're good at what we do. Can, I, can we go on this one? Absolutely, yeah. Can I have a look at this. Um, what makes these 
these ranges so good then, but this, because I, I, I um, I've tasted the food, and it was pretty special, you know, like, particularly from some of the, the, some of the ones you sent me to, the, uh, the award-winning ones. Yeah. What's so special about these units, and, and why, why are they so good? The trying to get is incredibly powerful, but what you need is, you need actually a temperature drop in the actual fat to allow the fish and the chips to cook at exactly the right pace. Cook them too quick, they're gonna to be too crisp on the outside. Cook them too slow, they'll absorb the fats, and they'll be real soggy chips. So it's, it's, it's the, the, the absolute correct amount of power that you need, which this range has definitely got that. Yeah, this is, the, this is a Regal range, yeah? It's the Regal, yeah. British made, made in Northern Ireland. Obviously that's British. A lot of people say that it's not, which is uh, <laughs> a bit of noises. But uh, yeah, most of our stuff is British made. Mm. And that's what we like. Obvious question, this is a funny one in my head. When this is driving around, what stops the oil all like splashing out all over the place? Or does it? No, it doesn't. Bit? No, so inside here we have splash lips and these are faced at an angle downwards. So obviously if the oil splashes up the front of the pan, it'll go back in again. And then we have a locking lid, which we call our submarine lid, that, that clamps down, you pull a bar over, keeps all the oil in place. Wow. I just getting the impression it's all been thought out. It's years <laughs> worth of trial and error, obviously, yeah. Great. And, and safety is paramount, of course. What do you do with the oil at the end of the night? Uh, the oil, we, we actually um, we actually manufacture a uh, filtration machine as well. Your, your own one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So again, it's part of making it, if you want to be at the top end of the, uh, the frying game, you must filter your oils. And not only must you filter them, is, is it good for uh, taste, it's good for saving money and getting rid of carbon particles. Am I right in thinking by filtering it, it takes that bitterness out of the oil and that burnt flavour, that black? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Keeps it clean and crisp. It does, yeah. You've, every day you've got a golden colour in the pan. If you put brand new oil in, if you've done it at home before in your home fryer, you put brand new oil in, you try to cook your fish and chips for about 10 minutes and you just can't get the colour on. So you need the actual golden colour in the pan to make it mm. look really appetising. So that if you, if you filter every day, you get your product absolutely right, your fish and chips every day will be the same, no matter if it's this to the month, today, next year, if somebody comes back, it should always be the same. Well, fish and chips as a product has stayed the same for years, isn't it? It's fairly un, unmolested as a, as a product. It's, it's a British classic, isn't it? Absolutely. That's what people want. They want to come back and get that consistent flavour. They do, but they don't want it spoiled. No, 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 not at all. I suppose with the rise of uh, street food culture, these vans must be very popular. You can, you've got the, mo the mobile factor. You can drive from village to village. And, uh, Absolutely. Uh, do you help people with building runs and, and yeah. whatnot? Yeah, we teach literally ground routes upwards. We can show them the whole amount of their business. So a lot of people who try to go at it alone, some of them will fail in the first year through inexperience. And coming with ProFry, that's exactly what they get, is, is the support behind to help them not fail. And you know we can make them make money that's in the first year. That's brilliant that you're helping them helping the food scene push forward like that. How long till this one's done then? Uh, this will be ready in about five days. What are we doing here then? This is the CNC folder. We've just got to set it up first. So basically, the difference in, in doing it manually or doing it in a CNC machine is we can do repetitive folding the same mm. every single time to the millimetre. This, you do this for folding a lip or and that ladies and gentlemen is a lip so how many of these vans have you, got, have you actually got out on the road now with various customers oh, i've honestly lost count really yeah i've lost count yeah we normally build around 30 odd vans a year plus yeah and then mm. we do the trailers and shipping containers as well and so we send them all over the world really yeah. what, what, where else have you sent them I've got countless in France and Spain, New Zealand, Icelandic countries. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So, oh, you can see out the front of the, uh, of the unit here, you've got plenty of vans in stock. Yeah. Sort of nice, clean, clean vans. Is it, you know, how do you pick your vans? Is that important? It, very important, yeah. So we stick to it strategically to two or three different manufacturers. And it's, um, you know, we do that because we like the weight, we like the power and reliability. They're good for us. Are they, are they all new ones? Predominantly brand new vehicles, yeah. The only vehicles that we use really second-hand is the ones that come past exchange in. Yeah. Yeah. So I, so I suppose if anyone's watching this now and wants to get their hands on one of these or maybe wants to 
have a career change or dip their toe into this, can, what's the option? Is it give you give you guys a ring or what is it? Yeah, give us a ring, make an appointment, come and see us, and then if they if they want to commit, then obviously put the deposit down. And if they want to commit, then obviously the sooner the better because it's incredibly busy. And so, sounds silly. Can you finance one of these? Yeah, we, we are for full finance, whether it be lease, lease purchase or hire purchase. We have a finance team literally who works alongside us. So which would which would make it kind of affordable? Absolutely that, yeah, in my reckoning. Don't have to lump out X amount of thousands on, one, on a brand new van. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Because you are walking into a, a job though, and, you know, a lot of hard work involved in these, I'm shooting for running on these, but good rewards for the right person if you've got a good route, yeah? It is, honestly, it's on water. Is it really? Yeah, it is, honestly. Yeah. Do it right, do the job right. As any job, you can do it right, and you'll get the rewards for doing that job right. Hmm. Well, I think my concluding thoughts on this is it's great to walk around your facility here, the, head, the headquarters, and see exactly how you do it. We saw the office at the beginning uh, where you take your customers and your clients, beautiful, and come into here and see you've got all the machinery, the manufacturing, you've got two units that are being made at the moment. It's great seeing this happening in the UK. That's brilliant, and thanks for inviting us down. It's been an uh, uh, eye-opening experience seeing you, how you do it, everything from scratch and seeing the quality of the range. So yeah, anything you want to say uh, to finish off or you? No, just uh, give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more business Get the about. sales pitch in. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, there we have it, everyone. We've had a tour of the Pro Fry HQ. You might have seen them on the videos. You saw the end result, the fish and chips, and you saw me stuff in my face, but this is how it's all done. Right? It's really important to show you guys the manufacturing side of the industry that we all know and love, but we just eat the food. But it's great to see how people put it all together, piece by piece, and meet people like Paul who are leading the way in doing this. So, yeah, it's the, a very different video, but... The best way to go and see one of our vans is to go and try one, go and eat up one. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. I loved, we had some great ones, didn't we, when we did... Um, have a little up tour up, up in Scotland yeah. and yeah. What was the one that I really like? Shap. Shap Chippy. Shap Chippy. Tony's great. on the go. Do you remember Shap Tony's on the go? A <laughs> wild friend. Yeah, he's, he's wild. A, he's a character. He's good. Some fit, uh, Scottish fish supper. So yeah, all right, good. Well, thanks for watching, uh, everyone. If you like what you see, go and follow them on TikTok. Go and follow them on social media. So they are very uh, up to date with posting videos and progress and some fun snippets of the family and the, yeah. you know. Um, and go and give them a follow. They've supported our page. It'd be great if we could do the same back. So uh, on that note, thanks for watching everyone. That was a behind the scenes look at UK food manufacturing.